I'm your astrologer wonder girl taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, October 16th to Monday, October 23rd, 2017. Now what's going on this week, Gemini, is we have got a new moon right here in your fifth house of happiness. Okay, really helping to bring just more happiness to your life. Okay, new chapters in life where you feel like you can be happier, find more joy in your life. Also new chapters in romantic relationships with passion projects and with kids in some way. Okay, I think we've been thinking about this for a few days now, maybe a few weeks, how we can be happier in our life as well. But I don't think that it's going to hit really until this week at the new moon. We can feel like we can finally start stepping into some of this happiness and this joy that we've been trying to build for so long. Okay, I mean that new moon is going to be on Thursday when I feel like that's going to come in. Now, as you're trying to be happier, okay, and build more of this happiness uh, into your life and, and come into new chapters with things that you enjoy, I think there could be some unexpected things that do come up here in terms of your goals and where it is that you thought your life was going with the new moon here in an opposition with Uranus in your 11th house, okay? I think your life has been taking some weird directions lately, going in some weird places, maybe having some weird you know, aspirations or changing some of your dreams for the future about what you wanted, uh, what you hoped your life would be like here. And I think having to really let some of that stuff go, okay, so that you can really begin to step into something that makes you happy. Not that you completely ignore your goals for the future, even if they have changed, but that it's time for you to start focusing on the nuts and bolts of what you enjoy, okay, so that you can then start to ultimately reach those new or different goals that you've been thinking about. All right, so I think that is what is happening there. I think if you can focus on being happy, coming into new chapters there, it's really gonna open up some doors for you here with relationships, to have the relationships that you want and need to commit to relationships or new people that it is that make you happy and that can help you do some of these things that it is that you enjoy with the sun here in a sextile with Saturn in your seventh house of partnerships. I also think that focusing on what makes you happy as well is going to allow you to communicate and to talk more too about your heart and about what you want and to be more free to express yourself as well with um, the sun here in a sextile with the north node in your third house of communication. Um, and I also think it's going to help you to work better with people around town or in your immediate community as well. Okay, um, so I think that is a very good thing moving forward. All right, it may require some readjustment though as well in order for you to fully step into this happy thing and to find this joy that you've been wanting to find, okay? And that for you is gonna have a lot to do where Mars is in your fourth house of home and family going on. There's been a lot going on there the past month. And I think with this quincunx that Uranus is making two Mars in your fourth house of home and family, you're going to have to think very differently about your home life, about your family, about the foundation that your life was built on and having to do things differently there. Maybe you had one kind of home life and now that home life has changed and it's something else or you need to think very, even your, you need to think differently about that home and even emotionally, maybe there's been something with emotions that have been going on that may have been a little bit hard for you to get things right emotionally and having to change some of your emotions and get a handle on some of your emotions too um, so that you can start to do what it is that you enjoy and really begin to move into that, okay? Getting right with home and family and dealing with your emotions may be a little difficult, okay? With Mars here in an opposition with Chiron, okay? Because we're still thinking about our career with Chiron in your 10th house and our life direction and our reputation, maybe not knowing where our reputation is going or what a reputation is too, um, but really needing to overcome some any insecurities that you have about your career and your life direction, okay? So that you can start to build something in a home life and work with family and better in different ways and, and move forward and be happier, okay? Um, so I think that uh, is what is happening there. I think as we're thinking a lot about how we can be happy and build more of that happiness in and work better with people and do more communication, all right, I think we're also thinking as well here about a job and daily routines and how we can have a job that we want and a better life and a better external reality uh, in some way to do more of the things on the day-to-day -day that we want and that we enjoy and that make us happy and I think we're really trying to get all this stuff in order and other parts of our life so that our our job can be better we can have a better day-to-day -day experience all right I don't think that our day-to-day -day is going to be easy with Jupiter here. There could be lots going on at work, lots going on every day. Your days can be very, very busy, but I feel like they're going to be busy with things that you enjoy doing and that you like doing and that you don't mind doing, even if it is just a lot, okay? And I think that's a good thing, and I think now we're setting the stage for all of that to uh, come in here. 
Okay, so I think that's what I see going on. Um, may require some patience when it comes to working on the day-to-day -day with other people. I think we sense other people can help us. We know it's there, but it hasn't quite fallen into place yet. But it may also require some patience as well when it comes to communicating about what makes you happy and what you want, especially about passion projects and romantic relationships and things like that. Not that you can't talk more freely and more openly about your heart um, and, and what makes you happy, but just that also it's going to take some time to get there, okay? So that's what I see for you, Gemini. Your card for the day is the Nine of Wands reversed, okay? This to me is a card of fear, of being afraid that everything that you wanted to make you happy, that you've been thinking about, that you really wanting, is going to all come falling down and crashing down that you're not going to be able to get it, especially as you're like almost done getting it. It's like, it's like having a happier life is like within reach, but it, like it's not. And I think you're afraid that you're going to lose it at the last minute. And I think this card is saying you are not going to lose it. This thing you've been working towards trying to build, being happier, you have it. It's in the palm of your hand. All right. Um, and, and you just need to make sure that you don't let it go and you need to be okay with that. And you need to realize that you're in a better place with it than you think that you are. Okay. I think that's the message of this card. I think you need to pretend like you already have it, <laughs> you know, and to act like you already have it. And I think if you do that, it's going to be a lot easier for you to feel more comfortable stepping into new directions that you need to step into. Um, and it's going to make sure that you kind of clinch the deal and get everything that you need moving forward. Okay. So that's what I've got for you this week, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.